Hey guys, back with another video for my addictive blogging channel. So in this video, I will be discussing about the QR codes in the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. So QR codes are quick access codes which holds information and now you can get all the QR codes on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. And with the QR codes, you can store information like your business card and also payment information like if you are using any payment app you can store the qr code to accept payments on the go in the samsung galaxy watch 4 also you can store anything like from notes to text any information you can store with the help of qr codes which is really really great and this has been a very important feature for any smartwatch and this can make our life a lot more easier if we can have and store qr codes on our smartwatch so in this video we will see how we can store qr codes which can hold any information directly on the samsung galaxy watch 4 and also how we can scan them later on to access the information which we have stored in the watch so as always this video will be a sick video guys and if you are taking to say don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos like this so QR codes can be a really important thing as they can hold any information on the watch itself. It can be information related to your business card or any information like your payment info directly you can store as a QR code on the watch. Also you can store pictures and photos of QR codes on the watch itself. So to get all the QR codes and to access them on the smartwatch you need to install an app and this app is available in the play store and this is absolutely free app which you can install on the samsung galaxy watch 4 right now also you have to make sure that the app which you will install should be installed on the watch and also on your phone with which the samsung galaxy watch 4 will be connected so definitely this will change the way we keep information on the smartwatch and let's see what is the app we need to install to access qr codes on this watch so the app i am talking about is my codes which is the wear os code and this app is available on the play store you need to make sure you install on the smartwatch and also on your phone and this app is absolutely free so you have to search with my codes and you will get this app once you have installed on your watch and on your phone you will be able to store qr codes the process of storing the qr codes is a bit different in there so make sure you are watching the video till the end so that you know how you can store all type of qr codes on this watch first of all you need to open the app and this is the app which i have and i have already stored few of the qr codes i will be coming which qr codes i have stored and you can see the codes are also stored on the smartwatch so to create any code what you need to do is you need to make sure you have connected the smartwatch with your galaxy wear app and once you have connected you need to click on this plus sign so there are multiple ways with which you can create the qr code the first way is adding it from a camera so if you have a qr code ready you can just click on this option scan the qr code and it will be saved and synced with the watch the second is add from gallery so if you have any qr code already you can take a screenshot and upload it so that it can save it and transfer it to the watch also you can add it from text so i will show you first how you can set a qr code with the text information so first of all you need to name the qr code i will be naming it something like addicted blogging which is my channel name and in the keyword description you can put any description up there so I will give something like subscribe and here I need to click on the save option so whenever you will be clicking save you will get the option to fill all the fields this is because you have not defined how you want to store the QR code whether it is from camera or gallery or from text so here I want to save a text information so I have to click on add from text and once I click on there, here I have to give the text which will be saved in the QR code and can be accessed when we will be scanning it at a later time. So here I will give something like subscribe to addicted blogging. So once I have given the text, I will click on the save option 
and once i have saved you can see the qr code is saved and this qr code will be synced with the watch so i will come to my samsung galaxy watch phone now so here is my samsung galaxy watch 4 and i have saved a qr code with the name addicted blogging i will open the same app on the watch and you can see if i want to sync this qr code i need to make sure i click on this button so once i have clicked you can see it is syncing and now the qr code is visible on my samsung galaxy watch 4 so each time you have saved one qr code you have to make sure you click on this sync option so that the qr codes can be synced with the watch and once it is visible you want to click on this and the qr code will be visible on the watch itself so this is the qr code which needs to be scanned to get the text information and let's see whether i am able to get what i have saved right now in the qr code so i will open the camera in my nothing phone one and we'll just click on this and you can see that i have the information which is saved in the qr code i will do it again and here i am getting the option to save it or to send it to somewhere or copy the information the information is subscribed to addictive blogging which is the text which you have saved in the qr code so here the qr code is working absolutely fine and this qr code can be scanned with any of the camera anywhere to get the information which is saved in the qr code and the text will be visible one scan via the phone which you have so this is a very very important app to have as you can store any of the information which you want it can be any contact details or business card or any text or any important information which can be encrypted with the qr code and can be decrypted later on if you want to save the information directly on the samsung galaxy watch 4 now let's see what are the other information which we can get so if i have any qr code on my gallery i can save it also and with this option you can just save a qr code for your payment app and just select it from the gallery to get the qr code which can accept payment directly on the samsung galaxy watch 4 so anytime anyone can scan that code on your watch and that qr code can be used to accept payments directly from the watch itself so it is a very important option you are getting and also add from camera is directly you can point a qr code like this and it will store the qr information in there which is really really great so these are the options you are getting if you want to store a qr code on the samsung galaxy watch 4 and these options are very very simple yet effective and this can be a really useful app to have on the samsung galaxy watch 4 if you are into qr codes so that's it guys i just wanted to show you how you can store qr codes on the samsung galaxy watch 4 and use them later on I hope you have liked this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because I will be making more videos like this. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Thank you.